Greetings punch control lovers, I welcome you. Today I want to show you a setup how you can implement a punch control, which means a slow up on the throttle channel and only on the positive side of course. For this go to the model menu and here to the curves. This time we're going to use curves. CV1 I will rename to GX for greater X. This will be our positive side, the curve for our positive side. GX, where is the X? Here is the X. The type stays standard, the count goes down to three points. Now let's select the right point here, short press, scroll up to 100. Now we have defined a curve for the positive side. Now go to CV2. I will rename this to LX for less than X. This will be our negative side here. LX, LX, type stays standard. Count goes again down to 3. Now let's take the left point, scroll down to minus 100, and now we have defined a curve for the negative side. Now let us use these curves in the inputs. The first input, or the, the, the second input, which is the throttle input, edit and choose curve custom, then GX. Again, um, now we have a positive side here defined. Now let's go out the third input. I rename this to BRK because this will be our break side, the negative side, if you will. BRK, where is the K? BRK. The source is throttle. The curve again is custom. And this time we choose LX. So now you might. I wonder why we don't use the side option here, the side x greater zero and x less than zero. You could use this, this would work, but the YouTube user Ed Krellog uh, mentioned or pointed out that if you use side then you may run into some problems here. Let me show you what I mean, let me go to the mixes real quick to uh, set this up. The first mix here for channel 2 is already um, Okay, so like it is, then um, short press one down, copy, and here set the side or the source to break, and now hold back to the home screen. Now, if I toggle very fast between maximum uh, throttle and maximum break, you see no problem. Everything works as expected. I always get 100%, 100%. If we use the side option, the side X greater zero and x less than zero, then sometimes it happens that you don't get 100%. You go, well, maybe to 80% or something like that. It is not always the same and sometimes it works and sometimes, uh, sometimes it doesn't. Why there is a difference? Because in the, in the, in the end, in the effect, it, there should be no difference whatsoever. Um, the curve does exactly the same as x greater zero and x less than zero in the side option. But, well, apparently there is some difference in the internal data processing here because here is no problem and if you use the side options then you may have, well, minor problems here with the maximum output here on this channel. So, well, this time we're going to use curves to avoid this problem. So, this setup now, well, it does nothing special. Everything works as if we, if we would have done nothing here to this setup. Now let's go to the model again, to the mixes, to the first mix, not the inputs, the mix, to the first mix, the throttle side, the positive side, go to edit and set the slow up to a value. I take the value of 2 to show you what's going on here. Now back to the home screen. Now if I pull the throttle trigger really fast, you see the throttle, the channel output value ramps up slowly. If I release the throttle, throttle trigger, it is immediately at neutral position. If I bring it to the front, to the brake position, immediately brakes. Again, back to the neutral. You can um, toggle between the two sides very fast. And with the slow up value, you can set how fast this ramp up should be. And that's it. This is the setup. If you like it, if you find it helpful, please leave me a thumbs up here on this video and um, I would be happy if... That's it for today. 
See you soon here on this channel. Until then, goodbye. Servus.